I don't like squid. Um, I don't know what time this place closes though. So I'm sure I'll be hungry in another hour or two. It's called a, a, a palm balik. I don't know. It's like a pancake peanut. With... Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Chrissy. We are in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And today we're going to go check out three restaurants that serve Malaysia's national dish, Nasi Lama. There's like so many restaurants over here as we walk into this place. And the smell is just throwing me off because now I want that instead of Nasi Lama. But I'm going to continue on this journey. <laughs> I think the place is actually right up here. Okay, so the first place we're at is Nasi Lama Kaktur. And if you guys are not familiar with Nasi Lama, Nasi Lama is basically fatty rice. And what they do is they take the rice, they cook it in coconut milk, and it's served with cucumbers, anchovies, eggs sometimes, and also some really delicious spicy sauce called sambal. So um, you can also get like a variety of different meats with it. I actually got Nasi Ayam Goreng, which is just fried chicken. So some people get it with like a beef on the side, fish on the side. I have this plate of Nasi Lama here, and it has cucumbers, it has a sambal on the side, um, anchovies as well, and also the egg. I'm going to get into the rice first to see how that tastes. Mm. It has that coconutty flavor, which is perfect. Alright, now I'm going to mix everything together. Put a little bit of the spicy sauce, anchovies. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, so the rice does have that coconut flavor. I feel like the one I had before didn't really have that coconut flavor, so I didn't really like it as much. This one is much better. Now I'm gonna taste the chicken. <laughs> I think I waited too long though because it's a bit cold. <laughs> so the sambal is like spicy, not too spicy though, a little sweet. I like spicy. And it's funny because I wasn't a huge fan of anchovies until I had this. And once you mix everything together, it completes the dish. But if I wasn't eating nasi mama, I would not be having anchovies. <laughs> The chicken is nice and tender though. If you're a local and you've had nasi lama before, if generally you've had nasi lama before, what do you like it with? Do you like it with chicken, beef, fish, um, I guess squid? What do you guys like it with? You can let me know in the comments below. All right, so I literally turned my head for two seconds and then I look back and like, this is how much he saved me. Like there's nothing left here. So luckily we're going to two other places. I'm gonna eat both of those by myself. <laughs> So that restaurant opens at 7.30, I think, and it's only open until 10.30, but she does open again at 5, so from 5 until 10 p.m. So if you want to go check that place out, get here early. She's really sweet. <laughs> She's really nice. So that was actually a street side Nasi Lama restaurant. We're going to head to this next restaurant as well. That was 8 Ringgit, which is about 150. I still have to work on like getting these whole conversions correctly because I'm not sure. I've only been here for like... Two weeks and I still I'm still struggling so um, that was only a dollar and fifty cents so um, we're gonna head to this next place and see how their nasi lama tastes and now we're at nasi lama wanjo kampong baru if I'm saying that correctly and we actually ate here three years ago so I'm hoping that it's still the same and it tastes just as good as it did three years ago but as you can see this line is pretty long so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what this is like. All right, we're waiting online, and I'm already like getting really hungry again. It's like tons of dishes here. Oh my goodness, that chicken looks delicious. All right, so this time we got beef, which is. Um, I guess they call it beef rending, and then we also got like squid and potato with the anchovies, some rice around, coconut hopefully. I'm gonna try this and see. Mm, that's good. <laughs> It feels like I'm 
drinking a can of coconut milk. But it's really good. Let's taste the sauce. Let's taste the sambal sauce. Okay. It's not that spicy at all. She kept asking if we wanted drinks, and I thought it was going to be very spicy, but it's really not. I'm gonna eat this whole plate by myself though because he finished the last plate. I didn't really get much of that. But the beef is so tender. Like, it's so soft. The rice is like so coconutty. Even the egg tastes like coconut. It looks like a coconutty taste. So I don't know if it's like made in like coconut oil or something like that, I'm not sure. <coughs> but this is like this is like really good. I love it. This tastes so good. Now I'm gonna try squid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like squid because I don't like the texture of squid. So let me get a small piece. <laughs> All right. Maybe I should mix it with everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's actually really good. I like that. It's actually not that bad. Like the one I had before was like just so chewy. I kept chewing on it. I tried to swallow it down and I was like, no, this is not like the perfect texture for me. But this one, like you chew it and I can swallow it. It's easy. We ended up getting this. I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, I think it's potato. Yeah, I think she said it's like potato. It must have like some sort of meat or something stuff in it. I'm not sure. But it looks good and someone else is getting it, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna try that too. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh, that's good. I love that coconut flavor that's just like infused into the dish. It's like just so good. I think that's probably why I don't mind the squid. It doesn't really taste coconutty, but when you mix it together with everything, it just tastes good. All right, this place was delicious. Um, we finished the whole plate, obviously, but I'm really excited to go to the next place to see what their nasi lemak tastes like. That plate of nasi lemak was only 16 ringgit, so $4, but we did get like squid and we got beef, so we got potato on the side as well, so we have a lot of different things on the side. But you know, I'm actually, actually surprised that I like the squid. It wasn't too bad at all, so it was good. Yeah. All right, this is our third and final restaurant and we ended up just getting the chicken and beef this time. Um, that sauce looks delicious. <laughs> so beef, I'm actually getting a little stuffed now. <laughs> so third plate of rice, I mean, come on. But uh, let's, you know what, let's taste the rice by itself again because that's what I did elsewhere. Get a little bit of the rice on there. Mm. Okay, it's not as coconutty as the last place, but it still has like a hint of it. 
Let's try the um, sambal. Okay. Sambal's a little spicier, maybe. Not too spicy. But overall, it's still good. I like it. Mmm. The beef, though. That's perfect. Like, nice and tender. Mix this all together. Alright, let's try this chicken. Let's see how this one tastes. taste the coconut it's not like maybe a, not even really spicy it's like more on the sweeter side mm. I mean it's okay make some of the sauce on there though mix it together <clears throat> makes a big difference all right guys I'm full <laughs> so the food was eh, the rice didn't really have that much of a coconutty flavor so I think I do like the other ones a little bit better but we're gonna go check out the chow kit market since we're like close in the area anyway and I want to pick up some snake fruit because I absolutely love snake fruit so we're gonna head over there it's like a short walk from here and just kind of see what kind of fruits they have maybe pick up snake fruit some jackfruit, maybe some durian. Nah, I don't think I want durian anymore. <laughs> I did um, I did make a video of trying Musan King and Black Thorn since those are like popular durian fruits here in Malaysia. So, you know, if you haven't watched that video, definitely check that out. I'm in this uh, market. I'm searching for some fruit, some snake fruit. Or, like, I don't know if it's like snake fruit, salak. I think that's the same thing, but some of them are like more red. And then some of them are like more brown and have like less of a spikiness to it. So it's easier to peel it open. But yeah, I, don't, I never know which one is which. So it's, it's very difficult to tell. But I see so much like amazing looking fruit here. Oh I know I try I try but I never know how to pick them. So like do I look for like the like the ripeness of it? Like this one? Oh, okay. So they have to be a little hard. Is this the same as snake fruit? Snake fruit or salad? Uh, you want one kilo, half kilo? One kilo. Yeah. So I see a custard apple. I never tried a custard apple before. There's some soursop. Um, you want to pick up soursop? Those look better than the other ones. I think we might end up picking up some sour sauce. I saw like these little, I don't know, they look different. I never tried them before, so I'm gonna try them out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna try them. They look interesting, so. Thank you. Yeah, so this is like a little back alleyway. It has like some coconuts here, some clothing, like a bunch of other stuff here. And then like I smell some food over here too. So like there's like, some stalls that are have they have like some food cooking like many different things like some uh, like over here. You can probably get some samosa somewhere. Like, I think she's cooking something. Let me go. Yeah, I don't know, but it smells very fragrant. It smells delicious. walking 
back because we ended up coming across this market which is really close by our hotel and there's tons of stuff there but i'm like starving so i'm thinking maybe just come back later on if this is still open and there's like so many desserts and stuff here this is like right by my hotel so oh my goodness And I'm almost tempted to get some more nasi lemak because I see the shop that had like really delicious looking chicken there. But I think I'm really, really full. <laughs> so I don't think I can eat any more right now. Um, I don't know what time this place closes though. So I'm sure I'll be hungry in another hour or two anyway. So I absolutely love these. I'm so excited, it's huge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so happy to have it. I love this, this is so good. And this place is actually only open on Friday. I think they close around lunchtime, like probably like one or two. So I'm happy that we were able to come back in this area and experience this because like, this just made me happy. I came across these, uh, I, what is it called? A, a, a palm balik, I don't know. It's like a pancake, peanut with corn sort of dessert. And I absolutely love it. The first time I tried it was in Penang. And I really am so happy that I got it. So I can't wait to eat that. So if, you're happen if you happen to be in KL, you should definitely come check out this market. But make sure you come on a Friday. I will link where this is below. It's actually close to um, this big mosque over here and a train station. So I will link the name below. There's like, like so much stuff there. If I didn't already eat, I would have probably just bought like everything at the market here. It's just like so many things to try out, but I'm too full. It's okay, whatever. But look at this beautiful mosque over here. I'm like absolutely in love with mosques. They're so pretty. So the, the mosque is super beautiful. We came actually by here last night and it was lit up with like these pretty blue light. It's so beautiful. Like we were just walking back home and then we realized like, what's that over there? And I'm like, oh snap, that's like a huge mosque. Like I'm telling you, like this is so pretty. I love this. Look at the architecture over here. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for coming with me today. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you share this video. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.